So let's go over a really interesting structure in the back of the knee called the popliteus muscle and how to release this in a really effective way. There's a good reason why they call this the key of the knee. And if we look at this, it helps to unlock the knee. Part of it, actually, the origin is on the lateral epicondyle, comes inferior, right across and attaches onto the tibia. I'm correct there, aren't I, Mickey? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> now, anytime we're working behind the knee here, it's really a good idea just to generally palpate the area, make sure we don't have a Baker's cyst behind here or some kind of uh, problem with the lymph nodes in here. And also just checking for pulse, just to make sure that the pulse is good, which I do feel right now, no problem there. If we did have a Baker cyst back here, just incidentally, it's kind of interesting that we would um, see this bump back here, but it's really a symptom. It's not really the problem itself. Some people say, I've got a Baker cyst and that's my problem. No, it's an indication that it could be osteoarthritic changes. You've got leakage of synovial fluid from the capsule of the knee going in between the gastrocnemius and the hamstrings. So, in terms of the actual muscle itself, there's a few things here, technique-wise, I would like to show you. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take it, straighten the knee, bring it into extension, and then we're going to go into medial rotation here. You okay there, Mickey? Yeah. Probably don't feel too much there yet. There we go. Now we're going to feel it. There. Feeling that? Yeah. And we hold it. Don't be in a hurry. So, this releases. Come back up again. Take it down and release. And again and release. So this is a really effective way of releasing the structure. Anytime a patient presents and they have posterior knee pain, you really have to check out this muscle, the popliteus. There's another one under here called the plantaris that is also very important, but we've got to be a little bit careful making sure that we actually check the pulses first. And we might talk about that a little bit when it comes to the Achilles tendon, because it's actually a pretty interesting muscle too. But the popliteus here, easy to work on, gets really good results.